All right, guys, this is the entrance to uh, Gabriel's Overlook. It is gated, so you will have a gated entrance. It's off of Highway 29. So you're going to have the mailboxes in the front. I know we talked about the other neighborhood having uh, the mailbox right in the front of the house. So this will have community mailboxes. The front of the neighborhood is a little less treed. It's a little more flat. Um, it's a big neighborhood. It goes to the back where there's a creek. Um, I'm trying to give you a view of this real quick. And in just a minute, I'm going to turn this off and start another video. Now you can see that there's more trees in this section. Do have power lines on the streets, no curbs, no sidewalks. Very similar feel though to Breakaway Point in terms of the distance from the front yards to the home sites. The home values back here vary just like they do in Breakaway Point from the fives to 1.5 million you got a lot of custom home builders in the back All right, this is Ridgeview. This is the street right before The street the property is located on this is the road you'll be turning down to go To the home just want to give you an idea of some of the homes on the street Lots of big oak trees There's a little bit of a topography change. You can see more of the Georgetown Hills in the back. So here is the intersection where the home is located. You can see up ahead, there's a, a, a drive that goes up a hill and the home is located right on the corner. It does have a circular drive. So we're gonna pull in now. All right guys, so if you're standing at the property looking out, there's a driveway with some coach lights. It's very quiet back here. I, I have two or three clients that I've had homes purchased with out here. Actually, some that have actually even built. You've got a circle drive here. It's got the uh, stone, the black stone. Not sure about the pine trees, but um, you know, it's your typical brick house. I will say on the exterior, some of the fascia it definitely needs to be caulked and painted. I don't really see a lot of rot, but I do see a need for paint. Hmm, just tripped on the sidewalk. <laughs> so there is a fence for the dogs. You don't have to worry about adding a fence. They've got a black fence that goes all the way around. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Let's go inside and we'll, we'll see the backyard. So standing at the door, you've got this covered drive-through. It's like a, I forgot the words they use, sorry guys, but if you took these lights and you did like a pendant light hanging down, it could look really nice. My wife is with me and she mentioned that on the brick, there's a product you can put on it and it's, don't laugh, but they talk about it on Chip and Joanna Gaines. It's called a German Schmear. And it's a, like a pasted grout that they can do over the, the brick that gives it kind of a white look, makes it more like a rock. That could be something to add. Okay guys, they have stained and scored the concrete. So you can see that there's lines. Um, it's kind of a neutral brown, concrete color. It's very pretty actually. Um, carpet's in decent condition. It's got the spindles for iron spindles. So you walk in directly to the staircase and in front of you is going to be the living room. To your right is going to be a formal dining. 
and we'll go in there in just a second, I'm trying to keep this as smooth as possible. And then to your left, you have French doors with, a, with an office, and it's a good size office. I will mention this, not that it's a big deal. Um, all the lights in this house are, are yellow, so it's not gonna show very bright. This home could be a lot brighter with the right light bulbs. Also, there are one inch mini blinds, metal plastic mini blinds. That's something that would be an expense. So when we walk in here, you've got a little landing area, rounded corners. The living room's not gonna be awkward. Um, I know that that's one thing that Erica was mentioning in the last home, just how would you arrange the furniture? You definitely have a seating area and you definitely have a cutout area for the TV. You've got a working fireplace and then you've got your kitchen. The kitchen's a little bit dated, does have white cabinets, does have an upgraded cooktop. And you do have a eating breakfast area. But again, the lights are really yellow. Those are Edison bulbs, so it's, it's kind of got a yellow feel in here and it's not, I mean, it, it shouldn't be. The light bulbs up in the ceiling hardly even feel like they're on. Um, but it does have black granite, white cabinets, nice cooktop, some little art niches built in, 42 inch cabinets, and it looks like it does have a double oven, so that's good and a nice recessed sink. And we got a pantry, good size pantry. Wow, really good size pantry. I would say that's probably eight to 10 feet with a window, mini blinds. And it circles back around to the formal. You do have your washer and dryer on the first floor. You don't have a sink in it, but you do have storage and you do have a counter spot to put you know things and fold and i don't know if these are going to convey or not but they're pretty nice all right so coming back you can see more of the view of the front of the house the doors over here this is the living room and we're going to walk into the master bedroom which is downstairs you do have a half bath so you've got a toilet and pedestal sink, good size, right outside the living room for your guests. And this is different, so you've got a, a master here, and then on the left, you're going to have a office space, another flex room. So it could be an exercise room for you guys. There's a game room, so I'm not sure how, how this, this room would be used, but it's an extra room without a closet. We'll look at that in just a second. Master bedroom. It's got a trade ceiling or recessed ceiling, lots of crown molding. Carpet's in good shape. Room size is good. And you've got a view out to the backyard. Master bathroom, a little dated with the oak cabinets. I think it could be painted. Um, countertops are cultured marble. I would definitely maybe look at replacing some of that. You do have a big corner tub. It's not jetted, but it is big. And you got some faux rock here on the side. His and her vanities. Large shower pan, but very builder standard. standard. And then you've got your water closet for the bathroom. And you've got a large walk-in closet. It's really hard for me to show you how deep this is, so I'm gonna show you the floor. And it's a, it's a big walk-in closet. Floor. This is that office space. It's another room off of the master. It does not have a closet. Mini blinds, of course. It's a good size room, I'd say it's a uh, 12 by eight, 12 by 10. One thing my wife noticed, it's got really nice fixtures like in the kitchen, brushed nickel, um, lots of dark, um, like wrought iron light fixtures, but it's got gold handles everywhere. So that's gold hinges, gold plates. So that is something that uh, would have to be addressed probably to, to keep everything uniform. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. First, I think we should take a look at the real office. French doors, 
Great space. It lines up with the formal right off the front door and a view of the front drive. All right, heading upstairs. So it does have a game room. It's not huge. I mean, you could definitely put a pool table. You could have a, a couch and a TV. You could do a couch here, couch here, or a sectional and have a TV on this wall. Plenty of room for that. Has a ceiling fan. And it looks like it has a run for a projector. So there's an HDMI port up here. That's pretty cool. So if you wanted to, you could float something down here and do a projector, but it is open to downstairs. Attic space. And then the bedrooms. This bedroom is pretty large. It's got a closet. Overlooks the front of the house. Standard closet. And we've got almost like a Jack and Jill bathroom. So your guests, if they're upstairs, could come in this door, even with this door closed to the bedroom. And then there's a full bath up here. Around the other side are two more bedrooms. Uh, this one's smaller. I'd say this one's probably 10 by 10 by 10. It does have a Jack and Jill. So you've got your closet off to one side. I'm so sorry guys, that I can't hold the video up and down. YouTube makes you do horizontal. You got a sink, shower, and a toilet in the middle. So we talked about this in one of the other houses. It allows your company or your kids to have their own sink with the doors closed if someone's using the restroom or you could separate the two kids by the, the bathroom. So each one of these rooms, these two rooms on the end have a bathroom they share. The other bedroom on the other side has its own bathroom. So you could split the two kids across from each other and they each have their own bathroom. Other bedroom, this one's a little bit bigger. Carpet is definitely builder grade, not the best. It's clean, but I would say, you know, it's starting to wrinkle in places. It needs some probably needs to be replaced. This is a view from the top of the stairs looking down. Standard two car garage, nothing fancy, off the kitchen. There's two windows in it and the water heaters both are in the garage. So um, they do have a riding lawnmower, so that's something that you could basically ask to convey. They also have a cook egg. These things are awesome. So washer and dryer, the refrigerator, the egg, maybe the uh, lawnmower we could ask to convey if it was a property you liked. All right, so outside you've got the two AC units right next to the back patio. They are a little older. This one's kind of noisy. It's got a sprinkler system front and back. It's got a rain sensor, but you can see the patio is pretty nice. It's big. It's got lighting on all corners of the house. Uh, it has gutters on the back and the front of the house, just not the upstairs. The roof looks to be in good condition. The air conditioning units are probably okay, but they do look a little bit older. It does have a small doggy door, but good cover patio. All right, and then the rest of the property, you can see where the well and everything is, septic. Uh, fence all the way around. So it's not a huge backyard. I mean, the fence line is right here. It's very flat. It's not going to give you as much privacy as Breakaway. Of course, it's not as expensive as Breakaway. And it's not as conveniently close as Breakaway. 
Now, one thing you may or may not like, you've got your neighbor's garage. I mean, they're, they're right beside you. So if you're coming out of your garage, you're looking right at your neighbors. I'm gonna go back to the back of the property real quick. Very flat, probably easy to mow. It looks like they might have access to the back behind this fencing because they do have a chimney back here. And they also have rocks for like a fire pit. So I don't know if they just use that land because it's on a preserve or what, but you can see that behind you, it looks like there's a wet weather creek. So this is kind of a layout of what you'll see around you. Very flat. I mean, I'd probably plant some trees. And it looks like there's a propane tank on the side of the home too.